Hi, welcome to TaskPigeon. In this brief tutorial, we're going to show you everything you need to know about TaskPigeon. TaskPigeon has two primary dashboards. The group task dashboard, which we are on now, shows all of the tasks assigned to you as well as members of your team. You can go to the My Task dashboard to filter to see only the tasks that you are responsible for. You also have the ability to see tasks that are in progress, due soon, as well as those that have been marked as complete. The next level of filtering is also on the left hand side where you have your categories. You can create any number of categories as well as subcategories which are nested under a parent. For example, we can go to the sales category to see only tasks that are within that category. You can further drill down by looking at either one of these subcategories, for example opportunities. I'll just jump back to the group task dashboard now to show you a number of different views that you have access to in TaskPigeon. By default, you have the task tile view which you are looking at now. TaskPigeon also supports the ability to view tasks using a list view as well as with Kanban boards. Kanban boards provide a great opportunity to be able to drag and drop tasks between categories as well as to reorder them in your order of choice. Jumping back to the list view, you'll also see you have the ability here to sort by different filters. For example, date created, the deadline whether it's due first or due last, category, last update and priority. I'll now quickly show you how to create a new task. To do so, you hit the plus new task button. TaskPigeon supports two types of tasks, general tasks as well as checklist tasks. In each instance you have a task heading as well as details or in the checklist task uh, item the ability to create individual line items. You can also attach files from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive and Box. Set deadlines, priorities, mark the task as reoccurring, mark the task as private which means it can only be seen by the users assigned to that task, set a category, as well as select who the task should be assigned to. This has been a brief introduction to TaskPigeon. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to know more please visit our website www.taskpigeon.co. Thank you.